Welcome to the AFC agenda. I think there's only one place that we have to start today, mm. and that is the news that every Arsenal fan was dreading. We had a few players at the World Cup. Every time Thomas Party took to the pitch, we're praying. <laughs> Saka, we're praying. Martinelli, we're praying. And talking about prayer, there had to be Gabriel Jesus mm. <laughs> in a meaningless <laughs> game as well, because Brazil were through already. Imagine. And he gets a knee injury. Again, we're thinking hopefully it's not too serious. He's on the plane home. He's had an operation and it's looking like he's going to be out for three months. The rest of the Premier League are celebrating right now and are going to enjoy their Christmas. Colleen, why? Oh, why? Listen, I think we all knew this was going to happen. Someone was going to be out. But... If you're Arteta and Edu, this is something you already knew going into the summer. It's not like the World Cup was a surprise. It's not like our squad was a surprise. And Ketia is number two, whether I like it or anyone else likes it or not. So he's going to have to step up. But I think the ray of light we can have is... A, is there a ray of light? There is, there is. There is. <laughs> there is. Okay, light. sell it listen, to me. But li- listen, you, listen, he's, we've got a Mohammed and three Gabriels. It's, if we can believe at any time, it's now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've heard already some reports that with us in the position that we're going to be in, that we are in currently, that the Cronkies are thinking of dipping their hands in their, mm. their pockets. I'm hearing that as well. So, and if we were just battling for fourth or fifth right now, I don't think that would happen. I think they'd be like, do you know what? Stick with Nketia, let's try and get fourth. Like last mm. season repeated. So I think now we, we might, might see them splash the cash, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, optimistic, I don't know. No, hopefully, hopefully so. Kerr, you, there's a lot of huffing and puffing from over here. You seem very <laughs> upset. Blow the, blow the Emirates down. I <laughs> know, uh, man, you seem a bit upset. <sighs> bro, I'm, I'm dressed in all black, bro. <laughs> you have, actually. I'm ready for the occasion. So it's what a funeral do you, today. Wh- where do we go as a club with this? Because what we don't want to do, and I think all Arsenal fans are kind of joined up a little bit more now, even when you just see the tone online and mm. socials, everybody tries to pull each other when we're misbehaving mm-hmm. ourselves. But with this one, it kind of seems that we're all devastated with it, but there seems to be a little bit of hope. Where do we go? Do we need to get a new striker in? Or is Eddie going to step up? He just got basically, what, 100 bags a week and the number 14 slapped on his back. And when you listen to what Arteta was saying at the back end of last season was how he should have trusted him sooner, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. You know, however, he he always, not that you expect, you know, him to not praise his own players or whatever, but whenever he speaks of Eddie, it's always in glowing terms mm. and I just feel like whether we all like it or not he's our number two he was our number two going into this season um, beginning of the season we heard about um, a wide player and a midfielder and I feel like even coming into January when we didn't get them in the summer coming into January I think a lot of us thought that but a lot of the noises in the press you know leading up to this even during the World Cup has been you know, Arsenal in the January, they're the positions we're looking at strengthening. So I don't really think, looking at what we've done recently, that they're going to deviate from the plan. Um, they look like they've stuck to their plan pretty regimentally over the last few seasons. Um, even when we couldn't, you know, see certain things, we were calling for so what we thought we needed. Just stick to that. I feel so like, good. yeah, I feel like the only thing they might do is, you know, with one of the players, I think, I think they were always looking at it anyway was, you know, the wide player that we was bringing in, I feel like they hoped that he was going to be able to play across the front three anyway. I feel like that was always going to be part of the the plan. Yeah. The plan. So I feel like at the end of the day, it's three months. No, uh, Kerr, that's a long time. It is a long time. <laughs> it is a long time. <laughs> but you remember, at the end of the last but, no, but season... I'm just saying from... Yeah. Um, that's from from our point of view, bro. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, like yeah, I said, yeah, funeral, yeah. black yeah, 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 black attire. Yeah, I'm here in it. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm mourning. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, from I'm trying to just talk about from what I can see them doing from their perspective, because yeah. it's not like they've been listening to us. Last season, they didn't really feel like they were listening to us. So in Ramsdale and them things there, that weren't listening to us. Yeah, yeah. So I just feel like they're not listening to us. They're doing. They've got their plan. They're doing what they're, and they're gonna, gonna do. To and I feel like they're gonna stick to what 
the original plan is. I, basically. I'll be honest with you. I I thought let me start with you two because you two are the most positive. Usually, Jermaine <laughs> is very negative. Here we and, go. And what and what Here we what, go. what I have. So I think it's gonna. <clears throat> it, I think we have to end with Jermaine. However, what's interesting, both of you have said is, he's not our first choice. <laughs> Is not what we want, and we're talking about Eddie and Ketty, and both of you have said this. So I didn't quite say that, did I? You, that's exactly what you said. Yeah. Oh, all <laughs> oh, right. And so did Khalid. He ain't my first choice. Well, no, he no, ain't my first no. choice. No. Well, he ain't my Jesus second, is. and he ain't my third either. But Cle- clearly, but no, I've got know. a little bit more faith in but him than but some. But t- towards the end of but last season, he did do well. Though. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. No, I've got a little when, bit more faith in him than some, and I feel like six games versus three. If the rest of our, if the rest of our team, how many games is that though? Three months, realistically, if you're playing a game. A week in well, well we're outside, playing more outside, than a game a week out, outside of Europa. Well, you can't just exclude the, the Europa League, we're in the competition. Yeah. But Jermaine, you usually, to be honest, I only joking there, you usually are more positive, and you have been obviously last season. Now, mm. this is what I wanted, and there's a lot of rumors going around that it is going to be a wide forward. Mm. Mudrick is being you know touted. My favorite player, Leroy Sane, again, being touted in the last couple of days. Do you think it's realistic that they may move Martinelli into the middle exactly and then bring that. Mudrick there. How do you feel about this? How realistic is this? And is there something that is this something that you would want? Do you know what? I don't even think it's about bringing in the likes of Mudrick. Yes, we do need oh, to please get a, bring a, a wide well. player. <laughs> <laughs> we do need to get a wide player. But what I would say is we've got a Mill Smith role coming back in. I think he's going to be key. I would move Martinelli into the centre. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, Emil Smith Rowe, he's a goal scoring midfielder. So I would bring him out where Martinelli plays right now. Well, onto the left. Yeah, onto the left, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I think that's a good option. Also, he's fresh. Do you know, he's just come back from injury. Um, he's ready to go and he's got something to prove. You know, so I think that's going to be key to be quite honest. I know we're getting worried. Um, but I think, you know, we look at it like we've been relying on Gabriel. And yes, he is creative. He hasn't been scoring goals. Oh no! He hasn't been. No, I'm being. No, 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 yeah, yeah. He he brings. He bring. He brings a lot. He brings. He was a, like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, he does bring a lot to the team. I agree with that. But at the same time, if you look at our goal scorers, we've got a multitude of them. You know, the likes of Saka have stepped up. But Martinelli you, stepped yeah, up. But would even Jaka. But listen, with with Gabriel Jesus, and I've heard this before. Mm. So the argument was he doesn't score enough goals. I think he himself knows he could have scored more goals. However, Just however, can't. what I would say is that Saka and Martinelli have scored more goals this season. And the reason why possibly, not the reason why possibly is... Gabriel Jesus, what he does, mm. the the fear he puts into the defenders, he pulls out defenders 100%. so much and it gives more room for the uh, wide forwards to be scoring goals. So yes, people say, okay, he might not score mm-hmm. as frequent as Eddie and Ketia, but is Eddie and Ketia going to do that? <sighs> yeah, that's the, It's all about system. The it same is. thing we look at Liverpool years ago when they won the league, they won the Champions League. Everybody used to say the same thing about their number nine. Mm. Firmino doesn't score enough goals. Mm. But what Firmino did mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. create more room and chaos so, you know, uh, Mane and Salah could do their stuff. Listen, and but if you take any of them out of them things, in it, their second players aren't as good. Who you talking about? Liverpool? Anyone, really. Oh, no, of any course. Of, any, like any of yeah, the top but teams. But you take a bit of a drop between player. Jesus to Nketiah. And, and that's yeah, but where wait, the wait, issue wait, is, wait, yeah. Wait, wait, but wait, wait, but if the rest of our team can kind of stay pretty much the same, yeah? Like, yeah. If, we can, if we can keep the core of our team pretty much the same, and we're literally talking about swapping out Nketiah mm. for Jesus, yeah? Mm. Granted, it's a drop down, yeah? But I feel like the team itself... It, We'll be able to cope but in the majority of games that we we will play. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I feel I feel we obviously you know the quality gap like what we're talking yeah, about because we've seen it like through the last few seasons where we you, haven't you, been able to compete you in lot, some of those you, big you, games or you whatever. You said about the quality. I haven't said anything about. No, it but I'm just saying like in in terms of quality in the big games mm. against you know the cities or people like that. Mm. That's when I'm worried. Okay, if we got a, if we're going in there with Nketiah, whatever. I'm 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 worried. I wouldn't even if play I'm in K uh, in Ketia. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, if I'm I wouldn't. Going into some of them other games. I'm I'm not so worried. So yes. I feel like he can I think the, he can do a job. The, the focus has been point. on Eddie coming in. Um, and rightfully so. We just gave him a new contract. 
But I'm playing Martinelli through the middle, man. I think, I think the question is, you're moving I agree with you on that one, one of the yeah. most inform wide players mm-hmm. in the world, I would say, or in Europe at least mm. right now, and moving him as a as a striker. Yeah. Mm. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm also saying that's a that's a hell of a risk. Hundred percent. But so what, what what has Eddie done to kind of warrant him being that guy that we rely on through the listen, middle? Listen, I'm not, listen, I'm not happy at anything here. So there's no something. solution that's gonna make me happier other than Jesus arising again I mean, in three days. Only, so Kelly, the only what time he had the consistent okay. run like that though was the back end of last season. Mm. This season he hasn't had that kind of minutes. True. And he always said like even even before he had them little appearances at the big you know at the back end of last season. Mm. He had that interview, didn't he? Yeah. And he said basically like if I ever run a games, mm. then we'll potentially be able to see what I can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he scored what five goals in seven or whatever towards the back end of the season. Which and some of those were in some big games where we didn't expect him to do anything. Mm. Let's be honest. When we saw him on the starting sheet against Chelsea, we was like, uh, and then he's popped up with two. I'm sure yeah, yeah. Chelsea away or no, whatever. We did, yeah. So, and again, it leads. Do you know what I mean? So like, you got to give him some credit. And at the end of the day, I feel like he's only improved since that point. He's going to be hungry. And I feel like this is his opportunity where he's feeling like, look, people are doubting me anyway and whatever. He hears the noise. Come on, you know what these players hear, what goes on. They they watch social media and whatever. And I think he's going to be out there to prove himself. And like mm. I say, you put him with some of the thingier players and he'll, he'll be out there to prove himself. Man. Killeen, you mentioned about um, transfers now and mm. the Conkers putting their hands in their pockets. Tell me what you would like to happen and then tell me what is more realistic. Is th- a centre mm. forward going to be signed? No, I think we get the, the Mudrick, or however you say his name. Mm-hmm. He comes in. Uh-huh. In, a, in an ideal world, we also bring in a midfielder, but I don't think that's our priority. I, yeah. I, think, a wi- I think if we just get a wide forward, I think that will be it. I can't see them spending the cash on two players in January. I just don't, I don't see yeah, it. Yeah, I, I haven't it. seen it from them. And we already know that the Cronkies, Edu and Arteta will not bring anyone in if it's not the right person. So yeah. the, the thing is to that, Colleen, is if if we had lost Partey, I'd wow. be more angry. Do you know what I'm saying? I'd be more worried. you're sorry. right slightly. I'm so upset, but you're that, right. You're yeah, right. You're yeah. right. You're we right. have got options in the wide um, mm-hmm. areas, you know. So I do think that a midfield player is, is key. It's critical because mm-hmm. who have we got? Danilo from uh, Brazil. That He's mm-hmm. been linked it's already. Memories. Yeah, their season's ended as well. So... so yeah, we're, but we're, how how true is this? Do you reckon it's gonna happen? Hopefully, Tillemans will come I up again. I think the well. season. They might wait till the end of the season. Oh, what for? Six now, though, you know. I think so. Because when you think about it, the beginning of the season. No, wait, wait. Tricky. Beginning of the season, they were gonna go for it, yeah, but they didn't, right? And then and then they did again when when El Nene got injured, right? And they went for push for Douglas Douglas Louise, yeah, towards the end of the transfer yeah. window, oh. fouled with it, right? Then obviously it's come towards now January. It started to prop up again, but El Nene's come back to fitness now. Can so I you think if if Arteta was looking to trust El Nini going into the beginning of the season, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. not far fetched to think that now he's got El Nini back, mm. that he was going to rely on him for the remaining part of the season and then go for that position in the summer you know, I, I, I and know. strengthen our forward positions because it's more of the current need right now, yeah. with, especially with the Jesus injury. I, yeah. I, so agree, with, I, I agree with Kaleem with. I can see more. Most oh, nice people player. do agree with me. I end up on the right side of history. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> and this will. She also predicted Japan as outside. moving swiftly. Oh, we'll move <laughs> but no, Jermaine, I I agree with you on this one. I think the the the, the centre midfield player is the one. I, I and also, I'd, I'd say with that, the, I think the Brazilian. I would like league. both personally. Of course, cool, so I think we need both. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying. And the centre forward, but it's not going to happen. They're going to prioritise one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I would say that the Brazilian league, I believe, has finished now. Yeah. So if there's a chance to get Danilio, you gotta get him now. You know. So and it's, they're talking about what twenty five million or something. I think that's a snip. If snip it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do it. The only thing I would say is we've seen that new players come into any team, West Ham, Chelsea, for example, but they haven't gelled straight away, and that's a problem, especially coming from a different league. He's a young player too. Uh, he's a young player as well, so that's going to be an issue. So everyone's talking about buying a new player to mm-hmm. sort out the Jesus situation and, and push that us forward. Position. For yeah, it's, it's so difficult. So you, you would want someone Premier League party. ready-made? Not Ideally, easy, based on so, that. So, so potentially, look, Tillemans' contract is, uh, is up in June. So yeah. again, I think that the price will be a bit less. Mm-hmm. We could carry on, though, yeah. with this all show, but we need to move on to because it is still the World Cup quarterfinals are going to be played. Mm-hmm. We have got Croatia, Brazil, Netherlands, Argentina, England, France, 
and finally Portugal versus Morocco. Let's start with myself and Kerr's favourites, Brazil versus Croatia. Come on. Um, Colleen, I think you're trying to go against the grain and not <laughs> trying to rate Brazil. I don't know what you're trying no, to do no, here. No, 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 it's no, very no. obvious what it is. Listen, I, <laughs> listen, I you know, like Brazil. I like Brazil. My preference is for Messi to lift the World Cup. Oh, period. Yeah, however, yeah, however, yeah, how, however, <laughs> however, <laughs> however, however, <laughs> I asked for Brazil to show me something. Like, show me you're this. Wait, 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 wait. Let me land. Let me land. I can see yeah. the knives coming know, out. I know. Because I'm fine. Oh, show me fine. I was like, listen, I want Brazil to show me, show me, are you this team on paper like, in terms of like, 22, 26 players, quality. Uh. And I hadn't seen that up until they absolutely dispatched um, South Korea. Yeah. So now I'm like, okay, do you know what? I ain't even mad if they win. I hope, you know, they do well. But unfortunately, my agenda has to agend. Lionel yeah. Messi needs to leave with a World Cup. I, I, I don't, listen, Argentina is Argentina. I'm just, what, I, yeah, I'm just there. I I'm just there for Messi. I'm sorry. He's won enough, man. He's one yeah. Not J- not enough. He's missing one illustrious but Braz- item. So Brazil, Croatia, you're going with Brazil. I think Croatia will give them a hard time. Okay. Um, I don't think they're the Croatia of a f- you know the tournament's yeah. gone by, but um, I think it's probably a two three nil Brazil. Yeah. Okay. My brother. Well, we did say Brazil, and I think it, they're cooking now at the moment. But Come do you on. reckon Brazil, Croatia? Your predictions? It's quite an easy one. Bro, I think they're going to walk this. Yeah. Um, You know, looking at, not being funny, Japan bopped Croatia, I thought, Mm. um, Mm. at points in that game. Tell them again. Some of the football that they played during that game. In my opinion, they bopped them. Um, And I was rooting them. I was rooting for them, to be honest. Um, But Tommy Asu and them things there. But didn't quite work out for them. But... uh, yeah, Brazil all day, man. Mm. Uh, I don't, I don't see Croatia having enough problems going forward mm. to trouble Brazil. Yeah, and you can see Brazil are just complete from back to front. It's true. Jermaine, is this a full house from you? Brazil. Do you know what? I'm gonna go with my overall winner. I'm gonna go against the grain because I think by the time this may be uploaded, we're talking about something else. So um, I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with France. You know. I'm going to stick with France. Even as a dark horse, I may say Portugal. Um, cause they really? Did, yeah, they did look strong. But Portugal, if they don't play Ronaldo. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Are we talking about whose favourites or are we talking about... I'm, I'm going to... Jermaine, Jermaine just changed I just, the script. I, 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 he took what the bird said I, and was I, like, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I did. Croatia. I did. I, I done my own thing. I think... All right, so Brazil, Croatia, I'm going to say... Men don't listen. Men don't listen. I would... Mm-mm. Brazil, Croatia. <laughs> yeah. I would say that um, Brazil are gonna win it, man. Yeah, like, there's, there's no one else that's gonna win that match. Cool. To be fair. All right, let's move on to the second quarterfinal. This is Argentina versus the Netherlands. I don't know if it's worth going to Colleen because she's already said what she wants to happen. <laughs> Even though we've sent her that documentary, we've sent her the documentary. <laughs> Come on, I know, uh, but try to educate. Let me ask her again <laughs> and say, Edge McKay. She didn't even read it. But the agenda must agenda, it seems, <laughs> at all costs. Listen, I, I want Argentina to win. However, oh. I reckon, yeah. I think um, the Netherlands knock them out. We're going to be upset. Oh. I think the Netherlands knock them out. Oh. I love a bit of Louis van Gaal. He's brilliant. I isn't love he? him. Want the best for my babes. But. Um, Did you see what he said about Di Maria? Yeah, yeah, no. and then what he's did he not say? Yeah, members so, yeah, so Di Maria <laughs> said that he's his worst coach he's ever worked under. And Louis Vahal was like, well, I'm very disappointed to hear that. Um, Memphis Depay also thought I was his worst coach. And now he loves me so much, he kisses me on my lips. Wow. So maybe there's room for Di Maria Listen. to lips him. Whoa. Pause there. Listen. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, it's I want to know what the Dutch are up to. They seem to be having a great time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Time. But I'm with you. I, I, I love Louis Vahal. I would love a Netherlands Echo upset. Echo on the bench. Like, not literally Gakpo the as well, man. But not literally to come on. Well, but he? Dangerous. He's doing, he's doing That's well. That's another player I'd want to see us yeah. get to be quite but I don't think so. I'm not sold on him yet, you know. What? I ain't sold on him either. I'm no. not sold on him. I ain't sold on him. See I've that, been saying I'm not go. sold on him. That's for another show. But I know, no, but I, I hear that. I, I, Jermaine, again, I, I like We're it. agreeing today, bro. I know, of course, <laughs> we're there crazy, now. Something's changed the You need to swap you got the long, the low today, skin fade. You're love, with me now. Love, a little bit more Compliments to the barber. It's true, it's true, 
I would want. Hey, yo. I would want Netherlands to win, but I think I think you know the Messi factor might do it. Um, ah, he's finished, man. He's finished. Wow, Messi's, wow. I'm not Messi's, talking like that. Messi's not that guy. Did you just see? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is the this is the person far. you want to be agreeing with. We, did Bro, we not just well, see well, the last Argentina game? I don't agree with this Messi one. Messi yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Do you think he's still oh. that guy? He ran the last game. Who did they play again? They played. Um, well, come on. What's their name? Again? Who did they play? Exactly. Australia. Oh, Australia. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Australia. <laughs> I would run that game. Do you know what I would run that game. Yeah. I, would, I would like to see that. I would like to see that. No, to me, no, you gotta give him his props. Man. I think we come know on, he's man. he's not he's not the player that he was, but he's not, still man. better than a lot of Who players. He knows where the back of the net is, but I don't. I don't really think he's that guy. Against against Holland. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know. You know. But we'll see. So, what do you reckon the Holland upset? I think Holland will win that. Definitely. I think Holland will win that. I think Gap Gapo will score. Um. I think they look like a better team as well. We're all talking about Messi, but in terms of a team, yeah. I think Holland look like a better team. They've got a good structure. Yeah. Very yeah. good structure. Yeah. Well, listen, I, 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 I hope so for them. Messi ain't that yeah, guy. They've been pretty know. solid as well, like, right. defensively. They haven't been too bad. Mm. Um, mm. And that's what's going to... You might have got Van Dijk at the back there, but That's yeah. what I'm saying. Van Dijk, Gakpo, Ake you're right. And then Right, let's move on to mm. the success story mm -hmm. from Africa, actually. A lot of people think it's going to be Ghana, it's going to be Senegal. Oh, you were thinking it's Ghana, but Ghana. Uh, hoping, yeah. hoping, hoping, hoping. It wasn't hoping. When you just, when Uruguay give you penalties, uh, they give you penalties in uh, different bro. World Cups to say, to listen, To be fair, I was score. rooting for you, man, innit? I was rooting for you, man. Let's just move on. I was rooting for you, man. Let's let's move on about that. We're all in mourning here. However... Morocco, mm -hmm. listen, oh, yeah, you got to take your respect, you, got, you know. Yeah, you got to take your hats off to Morocco, and they're not really here to play this World Cup. Like no, they're here to take there. on teams and stuff, and they are going to be playing Portugal. Mm -hmm. But Colleen, Portugal Oof. weren't playing games the other night mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that mm -hmm. was one of the most. They embarrassed Switzerland. Yeah. No, what are we saying about did. Felix though? You man, whoa, 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 whoa. Not for that type of money, man. So no, I'm not interested. I, we're not that's another leave. show. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't not think we can afford it. Yeah. No? Yeah. Nah. You man ain't on it. No, 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 he's not slapping up in our heartbeat, bro. You got uh, a spare 125 mil? Calm down, mil? calm down. It? Well, it ain't my money. Because <laughs> 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 the Brokies ain't paying 125 mil. Why not? But I'd rather see some of them contracts they were handing out to try Listen, and win the Super Bowl last Jermaine year. Jermaine and Kirk just going off their own agendas today. Yeah, like, yeah, bruv. I, I don't know what's going bad. on I'm gonna, over I'm going to sit back. Go on. <laughs> Go ahead. But, that? but Morocco, yeah. I would or like Portugal. Morocco to win. I think the, the dream ends here. Just because the only reason I don't think Morocco will do it, I do want Morocco to do it. I don't think they will. I just think... That is a very experienced Portuguese squad mm. who, a lot of them, it's their last World Cup. You've got the likes of Pepe there at the back. Um, he was amazing. Yeah, for 39 years old. And crazy. I think with Morocco, I'm not saying. I'm oh, not trying to. A 39 year old uh, person can be great, Colleen. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Not all of them. Not all of them. No, but and not the ones on this there. panel right now. Oi, I've seen it. Yeah. Not the ones Oi. here. I just want to put that one there, you know. Oh. Listen, 40. Reach him. Listen, I don't want to disrespect Morocco, but yeah. they've already achieved so much. I'm not saying that they've not got their eyes on the prize, but I think there's more at stake there for Portugal. And I think with the experience they have, they mm. should be able to experience their way through to a semi-final. Yeah. In my opinion. But Morocco... Love you. Was down at Edgware They're Road. Been, want to see more flags. They've been brilliant. Yeah, um, that was a mad. Portugal, Morocco. Uh, do you agree with Kalina this way it ends? Or is there more story to be told about Cristiano Ronaldo? He was dropped for the last game. One thing <coughs> I would say, though, I was shocked mm. with the noise in that stadium when he stood up to come on. Like, yeah, it's crazy, do you know right? what? Because some people are too quick to disrespect legends don't get me wrong nobody enjoyed the interview mm. however i did well you did yeah, but it wasn't like a lot of people it, it you know it, it kind of rubbed them up the wrong way however when he stood up mm. and i just thought this is what people come to see like this yeah, is the on. end of ronaldo mm. come on do you think he's got something more to add to this because i don't think the story is over if portugal go through I don't think the story's over for him. I think he's going to have one or two Listen, moments. Listen, it's him. It's inevitable, isn't it? It's inevitable. Because <laughs> he nearly scored like, when he come on. I thought he's going to do it. Like, it's going to happen again. Uh, it has already happened, though, isn't it? Once this tournament? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has happened once. He scored yeah, once, yeah, yeah. right? So, look. he. I think Ronaldo needs to play his position. Yeah? And that's always been 
if if he wants to be valuable to Portugal, mm. is literally be an impact player. When they mm. need you, bro, come on. Whether it's to win a game, whether it's to see out a game, whether it's do you know what I mean? I like, don't know about the three minutes, of, but you're right. I think like, has an impact. Yeah, he can come on and whatever, and he'll galvanize the team, galvanize the crowd. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. And whatever and obviously he's always got the quality that if the ball finds him in and around that box that that's the thing if, if, if you've got one player he can the put world, the ball in the back of the net and, and the ball goes over yeah. it's gonna be and he loves it like for example yeah that just say it happened yeah world cup final whatever portugal made it argentina made it just as an example yeah they both made it whatever he might not start messi starts i guarantee yeah <laughs> Goes nil nil, goes into thingy, whatever. Penalties, yeah. Ronaldo's on the pitch or whatever. Comes on in injury time or whatever, yeah. Gets on the pitch, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. You wouldn't put it past him, yeah, would you? Yeah, to score the winning, yeah. To like to 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 deal with the situation, like be the last penalty. I think that's what and deal with. To it. be fair, like you just even if he's not starting, which he wasn't, and Portugal were amazing that night. But the fact that you can bring a goal scorer on that, like that, on is amazing, Jermaine. Mm, I've been listening to you guys talk about Portugal. Um, and this was one of your kind of dark horses, yeah, dark right? Dark horses. But only thing I would say is you're right about Ronaldo playing his position. That's got to be on the bench and stay on the bench. Um, <laughs> you know what? Jermaine is the GOAT nah, killer today. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 dead. Today. Ronaldo stayed a bit. I've had enough no of you, respect. Man. Do you know what? <laughs> no I think, respect. And I think the Portuguese players know they play better as a team without him there, man. When he comes on, the stats have shown as well that they don't score the goals they're meant to score. When he was off the bench, they were playing like a team. You know, that Ramos guy, he looks really good as well. He's fired up as well. Good young player. Um, for me personally, they are a dark horse. I'm hoping for a Morocco win. Um, and do you know what? Morocco could do it, man. Mm. Morocco could do it, could. you know. Um, yeah, I, th I think Morocco could actually create a surprise, maybe. Mm. Maybe to be fair, yeah. um, I think that'd be one of the surprises of the quarterfinals. Mm. If I'm honest with you, so yeah. right, the big one, England versus France. Uh -huh. This is a, a very, very, very big one. Uh -huh. France are obviously missing Kante, Pogba, Benzema, um, and Cuckoo. The problem is here, though, is I think everybody knows if those guys were still there, I think people will be like, you know, it's a foregone conclusion that mm -hmm. France, you know, they, they're going to be a bit too strong. But they are missing those players. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this one going, Colleen? No sitting on the fence No, here. no, no. I'm going to make it short and snappy. France win it. Um, I think the only way England can... I think if England were to try and beat France, I think it... This sounds really simple, but I think it all rests on Gareth Southgate, how pragmatic he's going to be or how... Is he actually going to be like, do you know what? It's against France. Let's go. Let, let, me, let me see what these boys can do. Um, but I think it goes to France, unfortunately. But listen, if England beat France, I think they can win the World Cup. Yeah. I mean, Kerr, where's this one going? <laughs> You're a lot of heavy breathing today, Bro. Kerr, you know. You're right. That's a long story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. And I don't want to know, Jermaine. <laughs> 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 I'm sure I've got time is idea. ticking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to let you know that. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't even know. Um, it's a hard one to call, though, isn't it? Like I think, but obviously I want well. England to win, <laughs> but I think France might just do it. Yeah, like. so your heart saying England, your head saying yeah, France. the old typical thing, isn't it? Mm. Like we can do it. We've got the quality to do it and whatnot, but I believe. They've also got the quality to do it. They've definitely well. yeah. got the quality. And I feel like a lot rests on and what our manager's going to do mm. in terms of, you know, if he gets the selection right, mm -hmm. if he's brave enough on the day. Mm. Um, because I feel like our best, you know, um, f way to win this game is to attack them. I honestly feel like that at times. Yeah, but like obviously, we have to be clever when we do yeah, it. Yeah. But I feel like we need to be on the front foot as well. Mm. Like, we can't just be like, sat on a deep block for too long and yeah. just letting them come at us yeah. because the players that they've got going forward especially in the wide areas with Mbappe and things like and that and Dembele yeah it's frightening it's, it's rough. And the thing is and, and, and what you said I'm going to come to Jermaine because Jermaine has been very very measured here but the thing is can you know Walker 
or the fullbacks, can they stop Mbappe and Dembele? Um, <laughs> sounds mad, What's isn't it? What's going on over there? Do you know what? If it was me, it's Jay. Bernard are the only ones who showed up today. Clearly, with our thinking hats on. There's a lot of... You're supposed to be thinking about these, you know, off camera. I think... <laughs> I think they can, you know, Carl Walker, he's played at that. They can that stop height. who? Mbappe? I think they can, yeah. We've seen in the Champions League that these guys do step up. Do you know what I'm saying? Carl Walker's been one of the pivotal players for Man City. Yes, they haven't won top it. Top player, I like him. But yeah. they've, always, they've got to the final or got consistently far. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's been one of their top performers. Also, he's got the pace as well. You know, we ain't got much pace in that back line. Mm. And he's the one guy with the pace to kind of mm. try and hold out those guys guy's back sorry but um it's going to be difficult the only thing i would say is that england have been playing better as a team i feel than france and france have got the individuals who have that magic to finish someone because we've we've mentioned mbappe and dembele mm. however there's another thorn that could be in England side. Mm. And this is Olivier Giroud. Yeah. A lot of people facts. forget that one. You facts. think, I mean, he loves And that's the goal. guy I'm worried about. To be yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? He always scores that goal that is needed, you know? So, yeah. So, but then... And it's the service he gets from them wide players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and Dembele's yeah. been looking on fire ridiculous. still. And they're always looking for Mbappe. It's dangerous. Always, it's always. And the thing is, he is on fire. And that's what I said about Mbappe at the moment is he's looking like... No, do you remember? Of Frank. course, you guys, one or two were maybe a bit young. 98 World Cup. Mm. One there, or two or, or one? I think that, one was nah, two. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with but you. But re remember, you. that tournament, you remember R9. He, every game uh. he played was like, yeah, listen, the world's watching me. I'm the best player in the world. It's, yeah, it, yeah, there's yeah. always been a tournament mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. 2002, again, he was like, no, watch me. I'm the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the way Mbappe is playing at the moment, you can see like he knows Messi, Ronaldo, they're just, this is their last World Cup. That this ain't my last World Cup. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. The two finishes the other game like were just. If he doesn't win this Ballon d'Or, I, I don't really know the way that he's moving at the moment. But this is gonna be one a lot of people of ain't rating him as well, and that's what's mad to me. Like Who's a lot of people are calling yeah, him just pace merchants and things like that. Pace that's merchants. Yeah, I've like, seen that. I've seen that. Really. But you see people saying it. Yeah, that's I've, what I've I'm saying. I'm just like, just trying to get hits. It's a bit, it's a bit peak, bro. Like I, I think Mbappe is such a like complete player, like because I feel like although he's got like you know the electric, frightening pace that he has, mm. I feel like his actual like you know technical ability is top as well. But like, I, I, think we, very I can't really believe we're questioning. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, we should be ignoring those really tweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I, I don't we know. should be ignoring them. But we, we, we've, we've got. Attacking prowess as well. No, one hundred percent. Saka, Foden, and that's yeah. why I say Harry Kane, Kane as well. Yeah, yeah. Harry Kane as well. But this is the, But mm. these are the games now, though. This is why it's such a uh, exciting uh, fixture and game because this is the games that you remember in it. When you mm -hmm. retire, you think, yeah, I remember playing yeah. France. You know, mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two, that World Cup, they had won. Mbappe, they had this. This is where heroes and villains are born. Exactly. These kind of games. These are the games. All right. Well, those were the predictions. I'm very sure we'll be back uh, to see who was right and who was wrong. I've already, I think I already know who's right and who's wrong, but, there we go. <laughs> but we'll keep it, we'll keep it stepping. Do you know what? Some people call her the North London Carol Vorderman. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, don't, firstly, I'm not from London. I'm not. Yo. I'm, I, I'm from East London. Don't ever put me in with that riff raff again. Oh. Okay? So you're not from North London. No, I just, I just live in North London. Oh, okay, so yeah. <laughs> that's news to me, you know. Can you imagine hey. East London saying riff raff to North London? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm shocked. <laughs> Excuse me? No, so I, I'm looking in my direction. I know you. We're gentrified now. Yeah, we're gentrified enough. We're gentrified enough for, now, for 35 years. <laughs> this area is going to come up now. It's going to, yeah, we, yeah, it's the same. But anyway, right. <laughs> let's not get personal yeah, with postcodes. We're going to have a. What? Right. Colleen, I'll leave you to it. We're going to have another quiz again. And if you saw anything from last week, you would have seen shocking. Shocking displays. As if you, as from if you weren't her up just before we even got like started. It, this no, quiz. We need it. Let's hope that we can get some actual knowledge here. So, so you, know, you know, people tune into their, their favorite YouTubers because you're like, you know what? They're better than, you know, Micka Richards, you know, your, your Danny Mills and all them. 
So you tune in and watch them because you think they've got real knowledge, real opinions. Ain't none of that around here. Ain't wow. none of it. I won the let's, quiz last let's time. Let's see if they can redeem themselves. I blame the questions. Let's right. go. <laughs> Great right. blank. Great so blank. we're going to start off easy and light. Same as last time. Same rules. First one in. Shout out your answer. If right. you're wrong, you're frozen out until the end. We have a couple of questions, but judging by last time, we might only have time for one. So let's see. Wow. We've got five minutes. Oh. Right. Let's, let's go. And this guy over here is a cheater. That's why I'm over at the end this time. So Allegedly. Just to make sure. Okay. First question. Mm. This is easy. Right? Which player... Scored the fastest hat trick in the Premier League. Mane. Yes. Can I'll give you a bonus point right, if you tell me how quick. Did he do a bu- did he do press the buzzer? <laughs> no buzzer. I, the buzzer. I know you right now I can see, see a buzzer. See you yeah, buzzer. right now you can see one, but it's not really there. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine and Kerr were there drooling like huh? yeah, yeah, they were yeah. they were still stuck on the word Premier League. They were like, <laughs> what? Premier League? You can I see a buzzer. All day, man. So, so did money. He, hey, yo, um, can you tell me how quickly you did it for a I bonus think, point? I think it was done in two minutes. 40 something seconds. Do you know what? I'll give him the bonus point. It was done in two minutes, 56 seconds. Wow. Against Aston Villa. When and he, he was, was at Southampton. Really, you prepped him before he started. Yeah. 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 I've got two I points. I smell foul play. I've got two points. I smell foul play. He ain't getting both of them. Exactly. No, Listen. I smell foul play. Listen. Continue, wow. continue, continue. Wow. VAR. Right. <laughs> going back to the World Cup. Yep. And we're going back a little bit in time again. Good. So we're going back to their decades. So it should be a little bit easier for them. Oh, All right. Thank you, Kaleem. Okay. I'm a bit younger than these though, yeah. Listen, <laughs> there have been two World Cup trophies. Yes. Right? The current World Cup trophy is called the FIFA World Cup. What was the original World Zero Cup trophy Remy. called? What did he say? He said the answer. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Zero Remy trophy. So when you see, like, when England... Shut up. Shut up. So when England... Is set up, is Exactly. Is he set up? Set up. Is he set up? Is he set up? Next one. Next one. Do you know what? We might have to take a brief intermission or even close down this show altogether because... No, let's keep it going. This is embarrassing for certain gentlemen at the table. Listen, ladies... I could hear the question, but anyway, guys. I said see. I really hope your ladies ain't watching this because hey, right yo. now it's given the ick. It's given the ick. Wow. Right. right. So this one, I'm hoping Jeez. no one knows. It'll take a bit of thinking. All right. All right. Mm. Go on. Lad of okay. Mercy. So in the 90s and early noughties, mm. there was a particular Swedish player that played for a couple of um, English clubs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this Swedish player. He made it to third place in the World Cup. I think it was in 90... It was in the 90s. Uh, 94. Oh, so I think... I think... So no one's right. answer. Oh, right. So, this particular <laughs> Swedish... Oh, name, He's blonde as well. Uh, well, a, sw- a, a Swede being blonde is not that kind of nah. difficult kind of guess. Right, go on. This <laughs> Swedish player mm. had a weird clause in his contract okay. when he was playing in England, right? Yeah. Which said... He was not allowed to fly into space. Wow. Mm-hmm. Who is that Swedish player? And if you can tell me why that was in there, you get a bonus point. Okay. So is it right that the third place that was 94? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Right. So, 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 Thomas Brolin. Yes. Brolin. That's, you yes. are incorrect. What? I know. I know. Okay, it's, you agreed with the best. So you're also out. See, Jermaine, uh, right uh, uh, coat uh, tails. I didn't say nothing. No, no. I didn't say rewind, nothing. Rewind, rewind the tape. As soon as the best said you it, did. you're he out as well. Up. See, this is what happens. You thought, yeah, this is the winner over here, but there's an agenda you're not. here. There's an agenda. So, so, can we just go back to us because Kerr don't have a okay. clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next clue. Next clue. Next clue. Next clue. Right. I will give you a hint, and there's a reason why I'm disappointed in these lads. Oh, they played Limpa. But. And there's Limpa. You're, you're, I know. You're out indefinitely now. I know. I know. Wait, wait. Let me give he's, you the hint. He played for... He played for Arsenal. Stefan Swartz. Uh, I am not going to reveal whether that's correct or not because it is not your turn. It is definitely. No, you no, but you... No, so, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt said... Well, you, that's, no, what, that's out of order. You should be disqualified for that because so, that was look, my Kurt, opportunity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was the clue for me. Kurt, you were... That was the no clue idea. for me. No, no, no. Clue was for him. Yes, it was. But the clue for everyone. It is No, it was a clue. Yeah, no, exactly. That's why she was giving me the clue. No, you had a chance to answer. You know what? You tried to jeopardise the point. I see it there. I know what this guy's on. I know what he's on. Again. He should be disqualified for that one. Again. <laughs> you see, that's a point, though. Yeah, you, you see how men don't listen again, again. Can we all start again and be friends? No, no, no. Let's 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 wind it back. <laughs> Kerr was the only person not to answer, 
I have neither confirmed or denied whether Nabur's answer was correct. The hint, Go I'm going to give you the hints I was going to give you. And then feel free to give your answer. If you want to nick his answer, then nick his answer. It's up to you. This player did play for Arsenal. However, under George Graham. Uh, but this clause was not in his Arsenal contract. It was in another English club contract that he played for. Do you have any guesses? Hold on a second. This is just for Kerr. <laughs> no, you don't have to say anything. You've said enough. Oh, I know who this yeah, is. Um, no, oh, you want me to tell you now? <laughs> no, man. Bun you, man. <laughs> Bun you, man. You wanted me disqualified. I can help you now. to wrap up. Listen, Kurt, I can help, bro. Kurt, I, I, just, <laughs> I would we... say, okay, if you, is that your final answer? Now, yeah. I'm, I'm te- asking you, is this your final answer? Because I'm trying to give you a chance here. <laughs> can can I, dead, can, can, can we put that the answer? I'll tell you who the player is now. Said. No. No, it was. Oh, it was. Okay, yeah. yeah. It was, um, would you like to say it again? Stefan Swartz. But I yes. said that though. Yes. Oh, no, you never. I, I don't want to nick that. No, I don't want to take never. that. I don't you want sympathy okay. like that. So I, I don't want sympathy like that. No one got that right. No, I don't want that he, sympathy he point. He loses a point, surely, because he point. shouted it out. No, I not a point. I should get a point for that, but I get half a point for that. No, you Whoa. should take that. Your Honour, I'll take that. I like how the boys making the rules because I ain't said anything here. I ain't said anything. No one gets a point that round. That was a shambles. He's doing all the talking. All right, look. I'm saying, bro, man. Last one, last one, last one. No, the people know. They're thinking wow. this guy's a G. Stefan Swartz. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and this was in his Sunderland contracts because at the time in 2002, that's when they thought the first commercial flight to space was going to be. And his oh. agent actually had booked a, a ticket and they were afraid they were going to take him. So Sunderland Mad. were like, hell no. Yeah, I'm Stop doing like the same thing. Oh. No rockets, no helicopters. I remember, Not yeah, I remember it. me signing him after the one. Right. Yeah. I actually, oh, cool. I had three questions left, but right now I, I think we'll just stick to the one because yeah, these just... lot are a bit, a bit tester. Did- Bit hey, tester, listen, bit listen, this is, I thought this was going to be a lie. So we've got we one left, so I've won again. One left. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't even this know one, it was a quiz. This yeah. one should be worth more points, surely. <laughs> no. To make it a bit more fun. No. Go on, Kali. Why okay. is it making Go fun? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, make it fun. Yeah, I'll yeah, make yeah. It fun. Whoever wins this question gets five points. Right. Boom. That's yeah. madness. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, man. Come on, let's do Let's go, let's go. So I was actually going to give you an easy question, but now I've added that in. I'm going to give you a difficult one. How many points uh, do I have now? Four. You now you got three. three. You got two and a half, bro. Three. No, no, he has three points. Three, three points. points. Three points. All right, three right. points. All right, let's and go. How many of these guys? I are? am the final adjudicator. <laughs> adjudicator here. All right, understood. Okay? Understood. Right. So uh. this question I wasn't going to give, <laughs> but here we are. Right. Right. Who is the only Premier League winner whose surname is entirely made up of Roman numerals? Who is the Premier League player? whose surname is made up entirely of Roman numerals. Ah, finally, some silence. The uh, Roman numeral, what mm-hmm. his actual... Mm-hmm. So, for example, um, yeah, go on. the I, for example, like the straight line would be um, one in Roman numerals. Um, I don't want to give any weight any other letters. So just think, get, whip out your, your Roman numerals. What his so, name is... So, for example, if you were to write out his name... Uh, yeah. Okay, each letter uh-huh. would equal a number in Roman numerals. What sort of what? What is this? Yeah, you listen, mad. listen. I said I was going to give you an easy one. What Can team does he play for? What team does he play for? At least, Whoa. go on. Manchester United. He played for Manchester United. What? What? Do you, what? When did he play for Manchester United? I roughly? mean, Can roughly we get another the nineties, two thousand. Do you know you why? How, do you see why I was going to give them an easy numerals. one? But I they think were like, no. I think you should give us an easy one. Take a guess. When I say the name, you guys are going to be like, ah. Think. So his name, Roman numerals. His surname, mm. each letter mm. is, a le- is a number in Roman numerals. He's the only Premier League player in Premier League history who's a Premier League winner with that. And this is a popular pub quiz question. See, now... What era what did he play? I don't yeah, know, roughly, probably. roughly. <laughs> so I'm not going to give you the full era, yeah. but it, it's been... Is he English? He, he's not English, mm. and I have seen him play. So I have to have been alive. I've been alive since 1997. So that's the era I'm giving you. What position? So he's not English. He's not English. <laughs> Vidic, Vidic. Yes. Well Boom! Boom! There we go! Jermaine, Jermaine wins. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you that's see, what I'm talking well, about. You see how they were yeah. whining, complaining? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, relax, relax, nah, bro. No, that's relax. a cheat. Because I, no, because I saw her lips and she, she bro, did the video. you got to play till the 90th minute. Nah, nah. Yeah? Listen, but the nah. whistle Listen. hasn't been blown yet. That's what I'm talking you see about. How, you see how... Nabur could have just won this. Can I just say? Because I had no intention of giving this hard question. Uh, the we question could I was going to give to you was two very easy But you ones, gave but us two minutes. No, that was an easy one. Know Do you know why? Curse hey. said nothing throughout the whole thing. I know. <laughs> 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 not one. Quit us 
sat there like, nah. To be fair, listen, you know what it is? The people know. The people know. Because <laughs> this one. Can that? you imagine? That was a no. good one to be fair, but Jermaine, no way, the people know. On, How many out of all it, those questions? No, man. He got none. He got no, none. Man. Can we have one more? What's the other no, two? No, it's done. Yeah, because no, no, let's have one more. No, let's have one more. No, no, no. The show is done. No, 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 no. One more. One more. No, what's the other two? No, what's the other two? Last one. One one. Yes. All right, all right. How many points is this one? Wait, wait, wait. This, okay, this one. Right, right. This point. Shame, man. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. We're changing the rules for the bit. All right, so we're going to Italy for this. Yep, okay, great, great. Okay, uh, oh, they don't seem so confident now. Right. Great. This is, should be easy if you know your Italian football. Okay. Oh, great. Excluding mm. Juventus, AC Milan, and Inter Milan. Yes. Who has won Napoli. the Moschettos? You're wrong and out. The Moschettos. Uh. So, uh, Excluding Juventus, AC Milan, and Inter Milan. Who has won the most? I will give you a hint. Oh, yeah. come on. Listen, let me back listen, in. No, no, no you don't even have to give us a hint. back in the game. No, no, you don't have to give us a hint. No, you don't have to give us a hint. So not AC Milan, not Inter Milan, and not Juventus. And by me telling Jermaine's wrong, it's not Napoli. They currently play in Serie B. Oh, I know who it is now. Well. Let me back in, please. If they get it wrong, you can be back in. All right, cool. Okay, I just give up, bro. Time's done, man. Come this on. is worth 10 points. Uh, do you know what? I thought this was going to be easy, but again, <laughs> silence again. Come on. These, these if, they know, if they don't get it, it's done. We've got a time Wait. limit. This, okay. This Wait, done. repeat the question? Yeah, repeat the question, we please. We do 30 repeat seconds. The repeat the 30 question. seconds. Repeat right, the question, cool. please. Excluding Juventus, Inter Milan, AC Milan, mm. and of course now Napoli, thanks to Jermaine. Mm. Who has won the most Skeletos? They currently play in Serie B. Guys. Let's go. Wrong. Guys. They currently play in Serie B. You got ten more seconds, Nabe. You got to do mm. something. Mm. It's a beautiful place where the where the um, football club is from. I know. Uh, Fiorentina. You are incorrect. Boop! Game done. All right. Who's done? Who is it then? It's Genoa with um, nine. Genoa. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go. So everyone, so now you know these lads oh, here know yeah. nothing. Do not listen to any of their predictions. I got, I got all the free first but, run. But right. it's been, it's been a great show. And Jermaine leaves the winner. Can I have a trophy? Joking. Did you always remain that you didn't even know what it was? Yeah, cool. Right. right You're the greatest. Of, now there's been a lot of cheating, obviously, and uh, we end wow. the show in a very somber note. Uh, we started with a somber note, and we end on a somber note. Jesus are injured. Jermaine has uh, these man cheating. Won the won the quiz. But listen, we're gonna be back for more AFC agenda.